I bet you'll never forget the filter function after watching this. I've created a dictionary that contains multiple units of mobiles with different brands, models, and specifications. But as you look around, you get confused because there are so many options and you can't decide which one to choose. So what we can do here is use Python's built-in filter function. The filter function takes two arguments. The first is a function that defines the filtering condition, and the second is iterable, in this case, our mobile store. It then returns items from the dictionary based on the criteria we specify in the function. So I have created a function that takes a unit number as an argument. Inside the function, we use an if-else statement to check the mobile store. In the if condition, we check whether the unit contains the specific storage, RAM, camera, display, and battery that we need. If it matches, the function returns true. Otherwise, it returns false. Now we can simply print my mobile and see what we get as output. Okay, it shows a filter object. This is just Python's way of saving memory. To get the actual results, we need to convert this filter object into a list using the built-in list function. Now when we run this, it gives us the unit number. Let's check that unit, and yes, it contains the perfect mobile we were looking for. We can also print the mobile details directly instead of just the unit number by using a for loop. This way, when we run the code, it will display the detailed information right in our terminal.